This is entitled Scenario at 22nd and Lake. It is one of the poems that was in the first book that I published here, Old St. Regent, back in 1981, I believe. Young boy standing tall and cool, <laughs> got no use for public school. The streets his teacher, swift and cruel, where life is dice or a game of pool. Young girl walking, straight and slow, got more looks than a TV show. <laughs> Moving hips to the radio, older men smile as they watch her go. Tampa Madness, Bellman Heights, black folk boogie in the broad daylight, black folk love in the dead of night, old men laugh at the curious sight. Young men driving brand new wheels, wildly worshiping gods of steel, laughing loud as the rubber squeals, <laughs> girls come second, to an automobile. Women working tired and brown, hoping to pull some gladness down, holding it motionless there on the ground, measuring misery by the pound. Tampa Madness, Bellman Heights, black folk boogie in the broad daylight, black folk love in the dead of night, Old men chuckle at the curious sight and rain, raindrops fall when the time is right. Sitting out on the porch on 22nd and Lake across the street from the College Hill Pharmacy, watching all of that happen. That was the inspiration you know, I said, uh, uh, Bellman Heights, uh, what is it, something in, 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 in the broad daylight, uh, black folks love in the dead of night, old men laugh at the curious sight. That all was true. It, 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 on 22nd Street, 22nd, all up in there was a kaleidoscope. It was a, it was a nonstop play. Shakespearean, you you know you you were liable to see people arguing, almost ready to kill each other, and making up, and the music just kept right on going. Because it was about the it was about the music of the people I met, and every every person I met had music to him or her or them, like 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 uh uh uh. uh Slugger, old Slugger fought boxers like Kid Gavilan, Kid Gavilan, Kid Chocolate. You know, he, 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 he was punch drunk. But you do you know how he died? Slugger died standing up. He was going, he was going up the step because he lived with me. He lived over top of the Red Top Bar. And he was going back up the steps to his room and he suffered a massive heart attack and was frozen right on the, right on the bottom step. Music, pathos, wonder, divinity. And that's why in, in that poem you were talking about, I said, old men laugh at the curious sight because the old men became the elders, they became the the prophets, the visionaries. They they were the social historians who could sit and think all the way back to the 1940s. So that's why I wrote that piece because the music was swirling around me as it still does. I have often said that Tampa is a city of 30,000 stories, and I have only told 300. <laughs> so I got a lot of work to do before I pull the blanket up over me.